Hey everyone. So today we're going to talk about ignitions and wiring and all that good stuff. I've already put the ignition in here, so I'm going to just kind of point out a few things. Um, to start, I run a 2001 CR250 ignition. The 2000 and 2001 are the best years for it, and I believe that's because of the CDI and the timing and the curve and everything. The, the CR250 ignition is nice, starts up right away, faster rev, but with that faster rev, it's because of the light flywheel, and that comes with the downside. And the downside is, if you're racing and you come in hot to a corner and brake hard, you don't have the momentum of the heavier flywheel to keep the motor running, so you will stall. If, if you don't blip the throttle coming into that curve, you will stall. And that's the first time I ran the CR250 ignition was last year in an MX race, and I think I stalled it probably a dozen times. And um, the solve for that is a company called Steely, S-T-E-H-L-Y. Um, they run flywheel weights. So I run a 12 ounce flywheel weight in here. I think they have 10, 12, and 14. I went with the middle one. Since I put that in, I have had no stalling issues. Um, I still get the benefits of the curve of the CDI, the easy starts, stuff like that, and it works really well. But for, uh, for recreational riding, where you're probably not slamming on the brakes, you'll be fine with the regular CR ignition, but if you're racing, you know, it's nice to have that weight. They are getting hard to find. Um, expect to pay anywhere from probably $650 to $800 for one, for a complete setup with the, with the stator, with the CDI, with the flywheel. Um, so that is kind of a negative part. You can run OEM, nothing wrong with OEM. Lots of national championships were won back in the day with an OEM. Um, the other options would be, I actually, my fav one of my favorite setups that I'm uh, probably gonna put in the, in the race bike is a Vortex. And the issue is Vortex doesn't make them anymore for a 250R and they're extremely hard to find. I just happened to come across one, I saw it, I picked it up and actually really liked it. Um, I, I, I'm curious, I haven't run it enough to see how it compares to the CR, but I think it's gonna be comparable, if not better, because you got those 10 settings and, you know, it's, I don't know, it just seemed, man, the one race I did with it, I felt like I was ripping. So, um, another option would be Motor City Spark, which is a digital ignition. The problem with that, I, it's actually gotten great reviews. I haven't tried it. The only thing with that is it needs a battery, so, you know, that's the issue there. You got to keep that battery charged. Um, I don't know how many starts you would get or how long a runtime before the battery dies, but supposedly they work really well. Uh, so yeah, you get CR250, OEM, Vortex, which you're probably not going to find, Motor City Spark, and there's a couple other ones out there, a couple other makers, mixed reviews on them. So honestly, you're better off, if you don't have a CR, uh, I would probably just stick with OEM. So when you're wiring it up, um, obviously the this, this CR, I don't have lights. That's the, that's the other downside with the CR. You cannot run lights. There's no, um, there's no regulator. You can't put one in. And um, so if you want to run lights, uh, definitely stick with OEM. Uh, I don't need lights, so you know this, this setup is super easy to hook up. You've got your CDI up here, plugs in. You've got your coil. Your coil mounts goes into the into the stator side, and then you've got your kill switch hookups. So they hooks right up into the Pro Design or whatever you know Pro Armor. I think is another kill switch. Really easy to, to set up and a lot less wiring. Honestly, I don't need wires running out the back for tail light and stuff like that. One of the key things with any ignition is to make sure you have a solid ground. So I make sure I use I have a heavy wire, good crimp connector and you put it into the radiator clamp here, the radiator mount. Um, if, if that ground at any point, if you notice the, the connections are corroded or rusted or anything, swap it out. Because a lot of guys will spin their wheels, why isn't my bike starting? And it's because of a bad ground. Um, usually it's easy to spot if you're a bad connection or if it's loose, pulls out, then you know what it is. But, um, you know, if you've got compression, if you've, it's just not, not firing over. If you don't have spark, if you set the spark plug against the cylinder and kick it over and there's no spark, well, could be a bad stator, uh, could be a bad ground, or a bad CDI. So the ground is the first thing I, I always look for, and I have had one come loose, or the connection 
the crimp come come bad. It was just a bad crimp. So um, keep an eye out for that. Now, one thing with the CR250 ignition is, depending how you're mounting it, usually you're going to use some sort of aluminum bracket. And I have an ESR aluminum bracket here. You, the ground will connect to the, the coil here, but it may not end up actually being grounded because you've got aluminum, you've got powder, powdered steel. So I mounted this to this bracket right here that's powdered. So there's no ground. So you have to run a separate ground from the coil to your grounding mount point for that to work. And the first time I ever installed this, I didn't know that. And I thought it was a bad CDI. And, and then finally I, I sent a picture to my buddy and he's like, well, you don't have it grounded. So that's the one thing to keep in mind. Um, make sure your ground is good. Make sure your coil is good. That can go bad. And it's easy to test for sparks. Just pull that spark plug out, set it against the cylinder, kick it over. It's easier if you have a buddy doing it, watching for a spark, especially if there's sun. Um, but those are the, the, the main things to watch out for. And, um, you know, once, once your wiring is in, you know it's all good. If, uh, you know, if you, I always like to have a backup CDI, especially if it are an OEM. I don't have a backup CR. So if this were to go bad, I wouldn't know if it was the stator or the CDI um, or the coil at that point. And that's, that's kind of the other thing with running a setup like this, unless you have two of them, uh, two setups to be able to swap out. If something goes bad, you're not really going to know. Whereas an OEM is kind of easier to have two OEM CDIs sitting around and a couple coils and stuff like that. But, um, you know, this is a great setup. I've had no issues with it. And um, I'm not going to change it out on this. So I'll see for my new motor for the race bike if I'm going to run the C get another CR250 or if I'm going to run that Vortex for a while and just kind of compare them because the motors will be basically the same. So kind of give me a feel for it. Um, so yeah, that's it for today. Uh, I think the next thing, that's got a lot of stuff on, um, probably do get the, the front end aligned, get everything tightened down, uh, make sure we're good to go there, and then, then we'll kind of put a dress on this thing and make her look good with some, uh, some fenders and graphics. Looking forward to it. All right, guys, have a good weekend.